Hey y'all, how's it going? So, I wanted to talk about the dark forest theory, um, or idea. So basically, the question is, if there are aliens or other intelligent life in the universe, why haven't we met them? Why haven't we seen them? And one of the answers is the idea that um, we live in this dark forest, and in the dark forest it's very dangerous. And so you want to stay hidden because anything that like steps out into the light um, will be attacked, will be um, consumed is prey for um, some very powerful creature or whatnot. And uh, this is a really interesting idea. Um, and I think there might be some truth to it. However, I also find this idea quite limiting. Um, here's the thing. In a real forest, do you have giant predators that are deadly? Mm, definitely. Definitely do. You have like, you might have leopards or tigers or mountain lions, um, bears, uh, and, th and that can be in a dark jungle. Um, but you also, not only that, you have danger from all different kinds of sides. You might have um, you might have parasites, you might have uh, poisonous plants, poisonous animals. Um, yeah, it, can, it the dark forest can be a dangerous place, right? However, the dark forest doesn't, doesn't, the dark forest isn't dark all the time. Or to say, in order to have a dark forest, you kind of need a very diverse ecosystem. Like if you're going to be supporting, say something like a tiger, what you have living in that forest is, is many different kinds of species, likely hundreds of thousands of bug species, um, thousands of plant species, you have, uh, you have, I don't know, lots of different kinds of animals that, sub that feed off the plants, feed off of each other. Like, it's, there's a lot going on and a lot of interaction. You also will have animals that make a ton of noise and make themselves very well known whether that be through if it's like birds singing or you have like birds of paradise that look absolutely gorgeous and beautiful um you have monkeys um that will howl you have all sorts of different kinds of animals and um living at different levels of the forest and it's like when i look at it that way the dark forest idea is like what this is really i don't it there's some truth to it, right? But also, like, I, I just don't, when I look at what, what, what life is like in, um, in an ecosystem, especially a healthy one, like, it's, uh, it's diverse, and there's all sorts of different angles and ways to go about things. Birds can be loud and vibrant because they can fly away from most of their predators. Um, monkeys can climb away. Like there are all sorts of different adaptations that creatures take. And I think the same would apply to a universe where, yes, there might be a, a mega predator, but like, are they always looking? Are they always hunting? Um, do they get satisfied? Do they get satiated? Uh, what is the what is the level of um the size of creature that they're trying to go after i would think um a planet like ours a species like ours right now is not might not be very desirable to a very large predator civilization so anyways i think that's all i wanted to say right now um yeah like I, I appreciate these analogies and these ideas and, and theories, but I'm just like, 
I'm sorry, the Dark Theory Forest, the more I think about it, I'm just like, this does not, this is not taking into account the complexity of life. This is a, a kind of very narrow view. Um, it's a valuable view because there are dangers out there in the forest or in the universe, I'm sure of it. But uh, there is not just danger. There's also beauty and opportunity and um, lots, of, lots of good. So that's all I wanted to say. Thanks.